Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook and after last week's disappointment, Soldier Dawn to the next thing in the list which is called the Deluxe Meat Pie which apparently serves six. So we're gonna go right from the beginning, work our way all the way down this list. So here we go. This is how you make Deluxe Meat Pie. First thing we're gonna do is get all the vegetables ready and the recipe calls for one half cup of finely chopped onion, three stalks of celery, and three medium sized carrots. Uh, halfway through peeling these three carrots, I realized one of them's kind of big, so I just cut it down to two. Chop them up nicely, get them all set in bowls ready to go, and we move on to the stove. In a pan, you'll want to put one quarter cup shortening. Heat that up to brown your onions in. Oh my god. Well, it's what it says, so we gotta do it. Cook the onions until they get nicely browned, and then set half of them aside into a bowl for later. Next, add one pound of ground beef, one teaspoon salt, and an eighth teaspoon pepper. Cook meat until it is slightly browned. So, what you're gonna wanna do is just mash the crap out of it. You don't want like big chunks of it floating around in your pan. This part's a little labor intensive, but you'll want to do that a little extra work. Try to get it as homogenous as you can, at least the meat bits. And you're going to want to not stop when it turns gray. There's still a little bit too much liquid in it. You want to go until it's brown. Once the beef has been browned, you will add one half cup tomato juice and all of the vegetables, along with three drops of Tabasco sauce. Stir it all together and let it all simmer for five to point zero minutes. Again, that's what the recipe says. If you don't believe me, go back to the beginning and take a pause and look. I gotta follow it. Next, in a bowl, combine one third cup flour, one half cup tomato juice, and one half cup catsup. Stir until well mixed and then add into the cooked mixture. Stir until thickened. Next, pour the mixture into a deep 9 inch round baking dish or 10 by 6 inch pan. Next, it says to top with onion biscuits. Well, wait, wait a minute. There's. Where's the part that says I gotta have. Where's the ingredients, the instruction for onion? Let me look at the recipe. There's nothing else on here. What the hell am I supposed to do? Hmm. Well, guess I'm gonna drive to the store and cheat. I went and got whatever those Pillsbury biscuits are, threw them in the oven, and I'm using those instead as a surrogate. However, since I baked these beforehand, and it says to bake this in a hot oven 450 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes, I'm going to cook the mixture by itself for about 10 minutes. Then I'll open up the biscuits, put on top, add the rest of the browned onions. And let me tell you, onions that have been sitting and shortening are pretty, pretty gross. I would not recommend it. Anyway, finish it off so it gets a little toasted. Pull it out, and there you go. Deluxe meat pie. And how's this one taste? Well, for the second week in a row of ketchup being a pretty strong ingredient, this one wasn't as bad, but it's sloppy joes. There's nothing else with it. However, I think this time for this week, I'm going to come back to this for Thursday and improve this as I see fit. So come back on Thursday for the remake of the Deluxe Meat Pie. We'll see you then.